Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my truck bed bed extender setup that I use for hauling my kayak. I haul a 2019 Hobie Outback, and for starters, this PVC sort of modification is built off of this T-bone bed extender made by Boondocks. So I'm gonna walk you through and show you uh, basically what I used to make this modified uh, little cradle or support for the kayak off of that bed extender. Now the reason I made this is that it makes it very easy to load and unload the kayak. As you can see here, just slide it right down. I usually back right up to wherever I'm gonna launch at. I can slide the kayak right off of that PVC cradle and grab the back end of the kayak, lift it off, and we are off and ready to go. So as far as what I used, this is two inch PVC. It fits right over that crossbar of the T-bone bed extender. You just have to measure it to the proper length. Also the width of these bunks has to be measured to uh, fit the bottom of your kayak properly. For the Hobie Outback, uh, from the center of one bunk to the center of another bunk, it's 11 and a half inches. So if you do have a Hobie and you wanna try this out, that is the measurement for that. Now, as far as the length goes, I believe this is about uh, six or seven feet of PVC from one end to the other. And then on this side, what I did was I used these three-way uh, pieces right here, these three-way couplers. That way the pipe can go up, then another three-way up here to send the pipe down the length of the truck bed. And I did that on both sides. And the hardware, uh, I used stainless steel screws to keep this all together. Uh, aside from using glue, that way if I ever needed to take it apart, I can just unscrew it, take it apart, and put it away. Now the PVC that is also running down the length of the truck bed, that is also two inch. And what I did was I zip tied some jumbo pool noodles, basically cut them in half, put them on top, zip tied them to uh, the actual PVC, and then put some indoor outdoor carpet on top of the bunks as well to act as uh, a way to slide the kayak on and off because if you just have pool noodles on there it will tear them up pretty quickly over time and also the kayak will tend to stick to the pool noodles so that acts as a way for the uh, kayak to slide on and off easily and then halfway down the bunks here i put a support that sits right on the tailgate just add some support there and then added another one on the back end here and now when I'm ready to leave for the day I basically just do the opposite have the kayak ready I like to have the nose of the kayak basically straight out from the bunks as you can see there the nose of the kayak is straight out I have the back of the kayak sort of cocked to the side just pick the kayak up set it on those bunks and that's the nice thing about having a lower truck as well definitely helps and I can grab the kayak and just slide it right up there and we're good to go then as far as strapping it down all I really use is one strap to strap the kayak down and I'll just go from the middle of the kayak like so through the hooks down here Then make sure it is nice and snug. What you don't want to do is use ratcheting straps. I like to use lashing straps because the tendency with ratcheting straps is that you can over tighten them and that you can actually damage your kayak. It doesn't take a lot of force to keep your kayak nice and snug uh, and strapped down. So I use these uh, NRS lash uh, lashing straps. Send it down. As you can see, that thing ain't going nowhere. Every trip I take is anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, up to two hours. Never have an issue with the kayak coming loose or ending up on the highway. So that will wrap up this video. Again, just wanted to share uh, how I transport my kayak and this modification that I used 
on the truck bed extender in case you want to try it out for yourself. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.